Hi, I am Dr. Naman Bashir and you are watching my YouTube channel. I hope you are all fine. Now our today's lecture is about Antropion. Antropion is a condition related to the eyes. It can be in dogs and in cats. Now first of all it's overview. Inversion or inward folding of eyelid margin. It is a condition in which eyelid margin becomes folded inward and look like uh, eyes is completely closed causing irritation due to corneal friction with outer surface of eyelid in this condition when eyelid become inward folding cause irritation with the cornea and it result to the keratitis corneal ulceration and it can be acquired or congenital acquired in the sense that it can be traumatic uh, uh, injury or any foreign body now its uh, next section is causes and risk factor of antropion the first of all its main reason is genetic predisposition genetic play an important role in the antropion it based upon the facial conformation and eyelid spot that uh, may lead to the antropion the next factor is brachycephalus breed in this term brachy mean short and cephalus mean head short skull bone in length and give face and nose a pushed shape in appearance in this condition excessive tension on ligamentous structure of medial canthus plus nasal fold and facial conformation result in rolling inward of medial aspect of upper and lower eyelid at medial canthus that may lead to the antropion condition and the next is macroblepharon in this excessive eyelid length and a protruding eye leading to progressive disease of the surface of the eye that is cornea in this excessive eyelid heavy and loose facial skin laxity of lateral canthus allows antropion of upper and lower eyelid of lateral canthus and it is also the main cause of the antropion now the other cause of it is spastic antropion basically it is a condition that develop due to ocular irritation and ocular irritation may be of due to some causes like dystichia dystichia is a condition in which eye lashes that arises from an abnormal part of eyelid this uh, abnormal eyelashes grown and cause the irritation and that lead to the antropion and the other is ectopic cilia that is the abnormal hair that erupt from the inside of the eyelid that eruption of the hair cause the irritation and also lead to antropion and the third one is trichiasis eyelashes grown inward and eyelid become closed and lead to antropion and foreign body may any foreign body that uh, can be enter into the eyes and cause irritation and the inward folding of the eyes and irritate irritant conjunctivitis also lead to the spastic antropion all the condition lead to the belief for spasm and the other its risk factor is age related and it can be different in kitten and in older cats in kitten antropion can occur due to chronic ocular surface disease any disease of uh, eyes that is chronic in nature can lead to antropion at the end and in older due to retro bulbar fat loss antropion can occur in the older age due to this fat loss and at the end is cantri secretion antropion and it is from scaring scaring due to eyelid wound or eyelid surgery any condition of eyelid either wounds or after the surgery a scar become and that is lead to the cantri secretion antropion and cause the antropion in cats and dogs now the next segment is signs and symptom as we can see antropion in clinical sign that uh, eye is unable to completely open then other symptoms also we can observe uh, on clinical basis like uh, keratoconjunctivitis it is an inflammatory process that involve both conjunctiva and the superficial cornea and inflammation of it is known as keratoconjunctivitis then the next condition is corneal ulceration we can observe ulceration that form in the cornea and purulent discharge that is thick and milky discharge comes out from the eyes and uh, as we discussed earlier more in brachycephalus cats and dogs these are the signs of antropion now the most interesting point of antropion is its treatment a treatment can be defined on the basis of diagnosis and the severity of the condition that a vet can diagnose of it first of all uh, its treatment can be and divided into steps a first step if you see that uh, antropion is in minor condition then do not initially do its surgery you can do it uh, topical ointment or antibiotic like that 
if uh, you can observe that corneal ulceration become then you can use topical antibiotic and the next stage mild entropion and cornea not ulcerated then lubricate with artificial tear ointment uh, with the with the passage of time the entropion will be sought out and if it's a permanent then there is no any chance of uh, medication that can be happen and its last option will be surgery so you should perform the surgery if you observe that entropion is in permanent stage and the entropion lecture has been finished now the detailed video lecture on entropion surgery now this cat was presented to me and uh, then after the clinical sign and observation we diagnosed that it is the entropion case and uh, i also observed that uh, it is uh, unable to uh, open with its own and it is beyond the case of antibiotic and uh, any type of uh, ointment so i decided to do its uh, surgery because its uh, eyes is fully inward folded and uh, unable to open now we are preparing the patient for the surgery all the procedure will be done under the general anesthesia first of all the main step of it the removing of the hair we will completely remove the hair around the eyes because hair fiber can cause irritation and may lead to the inflammation and it is also a prerequisite for surgery first of all we make sure that all the hairs has been removed and the shave has been completed then we will start our surgery after removing all the hair around the eyelid now we will prepare it for the surgery in this condition we will have to two tongue depressor one tongue depressor will be inserted toward the eye below the eyelid because it is a critical condition of eye surgeries and we make incision very precisely and tongue depressor will be the indication that our incision is on the upper surface not to cross the muscle and not even to touch the cornea entropion surgery the incision will be very precise not to cut the muscle only cut the skin and then we will start the undermining of it if we will cut the muscle then we will be unable to stop the blood and even can cut the eyes after making an incision we will start the undermining of incised area and a proper care and handling should be needed because it is an ocular surgery and a proper guideline and handling will be needed because a single mistake can lead to the permanent problem of the eye then continuously we will manage the incised area and this incision will be taken on the base of diagnosis of the entropion that how much entropion surface should be removed now i am suturing the incised area with the pattern of simple interrupted suture to close the skin and in this case i applied four simple interrupted knots and this is the condition after surgery now we will wait after its follow up and we will see its condition now this is the patient after fully recovery of entropion surgery now its eyes has been completely open with its will and have no any type of scar or inflammation and this case was run on two days follow up of antibiotic and seven days follow up of ointment to reduce its post operative swelling and now it is fully recovered at the end i am very much thankful to all of you that watch my video till end kindly subscribe my channel like and share with your friends and put any comments i hope you will enjoy it and uh, in future keep following and watching dr noman bashir